In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you what scenes are and how you can use them. So I mentioned previously that a scene is like a scene in a movie where it's a certain grouping of shots all in one. So that's the exact same way it works in Unity. And you can think of it kind of like a level in a game, the main menu of a game. All of those are separate scenes. So a good example of that is the original Super Mario Brothers game. You start on level 1-1 and then you move to level one, two. Each of those would be a separate scene. So anytime if you wanna see what scene that you're open in, you can look right here in the hierarchy. The top of it is the scene name, and then all of these objects are part of the scene. So you could actually collapse this too and just see the scene. So if we open that, right now we're in a scene called sample scene. So let's actually make a new scene, which is gonna be the sandbox that we use for our game coming up. So to create a new scene, you can go into the assets folder here and you can just right click, create, and then scene. Now it's gonna give us an empty one, we can name it. So I'm just gonna call this sandbox. And if you're not familiar with the sandbox, it's just like a sandbox in a kid park. So it, you can use it basically as a container to build what you want and play around in. So we're not going to use it in our final game. It's just going to be kind of a little testing environment where you build things, you test them out, and then when they're working how you like, then you put them into your game. Okay, so we created Sandbox, but we haven't opened it. You can see our scene is still sample scene. To open a scene, all you have to do is double click on it, and now it loaded up Sandbox. And you can see by default, there's a main camera, and that's it. Now in our game, we don't see anything because we have nothing in it yet. Now a great habit to get in early is keeping your project folder with all your assets very clean and organized. So by default, there should be a scenes folder already here. If there's not, you can just right click, create, folder, and then you can name it whatever. So in this case, I already have a scenes folder, but you know I'm just gonna call this one sprites. And then later I'll put some sprites in there. So you can create folders however you want, and then you can create folders inside of folders, just like you would in Windows. So let's drag Sandbox into Scenes. And if you don't already have a Scenes folder, just create one just like I did, and then drag your scene in. But you should have one by default with Sample Scene. So now we have two scenes in here, and we can click between them, and we see it goes back and forth. So just to show that there is a difference, what I'm gonna do is in Sample Scene, I'm gonna create a sprite. I'm just gonna make a triangle. I'm gonna hit R to scale it a bit. So I'll just make it a bit bigger. If I go to the game view, okay, it's off camera. Right now, I don't care, that's fine. But we can at least see we have one. I accidentally renamed it to R, so I'm just gonna rename this. I'll just call it triangle again. And now control S to save the scene. Remember the little star will disappear here. And we have a triangle. Now let's go back to sandbox and our triangle is gone because we're in a different scene. And I'm just gonna make a 2D sprite and I'll make a big square. Okay, and then R to scale it up. If we look at the game view, we have a square sticking off here, that's fine. Okay, and again, control S, always get in the habit of constantly saving. Uh, one thing to note though is if I move this, so notice we have the star that it's not saved. If I try to switch scenes now before saving it, Unity is actually going to give me a warning saying you're going to lose the changes. And if you want, you can just click save here. Okay, so now we have triangle and sample scene. Sandbox has a square. So that's just a, a very quick reference to show you the difference between scenes. In the upcoming videos, we're gonna start working in the sandbox scene, but I encourage you to also make some of your own scenes just to play around and test in while you're going through. And it's good to get practice. You can do things in that scene without impacting what we're making throughout the course. Okay, so that's the basics of scenes. You're gonna learn a lot more about that as we start making our game.